Hi guys, Togo here with a new video. In this video, we will be a how to gain as much conquest as you can to gear up your alts. Maybe you found a new main, a new spec you want to main for 10.0.7. And this video will be for you if you want to grind as much conquest in a little time frame so you can just jump into solo shuffle or get some good 3v3 gameplay or whatever you want to actually achieve this season you have like two months something like that two or three months to grind your glad or your title that you really want like duelist rival whatever you want legend you can do it by again watching this video you will see multiple ways to get gear as fast as you can but also just in general in a fun way not like a mindless grind now let's talk right away with a few options you'll see some timestamps i think depending on um, the duration of the video i'll try to keep it concise but again subscribe to the channel if you love those kinds of content we do pvp content tier list guides gameplay discussion videos everything you want about pvp you can find it on this channel again thank you now let's start right away with talking into a few points where you have to keep in mind people want to grind conquest without affecting their mmr of course if you're going to jump into soul shuffle with 411 or even 408 because you, the minimum is 408 you're going to ruin your mmr you can be the best pvp -er out there sometimes gear is going to be enough to actually make you lose or at least if you're like equally leveled the gear will be the decising factor or you're going to be a bit better but obviously you have a bit less hp so you will be the target and you will inevitably probably lose those games so that's why we're not going to give you the incentive to queue for soul shuffle first and foremost the queues are quite long but also, if you're a healer and you are 4 or 8 and you want to grind social for to get conquest, I mean, you can do that, but you still need to win at least 3 rounds to get conquest, which is reliable if you're like chain winning or whatever, but it's unreliable if you feel like, look, it's a new spec, a new main you want to go for, and you don't have the gear for, and you still need to grind a lot of things, like for example, tier pieces, because again, 4 or 8 or 4 or 4 11, you will not have tier pieces. So it means you will lose a few uh, cool set bonuses. Like for example, BM Hunter, it's pretty much um, game changer. You getting a reset on power shot because of kill command and getting a uh, increased damage on your kill command because of your power shot is something that is really noticeable. And the same for healers, the same for other DPS packs. That's why you, I will not say go for social flow. It's the easiest to, to grind because it is not the easiest. The easiest to grind if you want to do rating and you want to feel like you're using your time towards your goals would be 2v2 and 3v3. Now, I would not recommend to go 2v2 or 3v3 if you do care about your MMR. But if you do not care about 2v2 or 3v3, you can jump into 2v2 and 3v3 with a friend and you can grind conquest pretty reliably on that. For, for the first win, you will get 60 conquests on 2v2 and for the first win in 3v3, you will get 85. It is not quite fast though. I would say the, the fastest way to grind conquest would be to win RBGs. If you win RBGs, you will gain 260 conquest for just one win but you will have to find someone that wants to carry you pretty much uh, or a good group that is actually um, not going to leave after the first loss but those are the options where you can win with rating what i would recommend if you're not willing to sacrifice rating mmr which i would not do in your st in, in your like in your uh, actual choose uh, i would just do dailies and what what are dailies pretty much do a first win random bg first win a random epic bg doing a first win arena skirmish and even do a first win gravity lapse and you have a lot of quests that actually give you a lot of conquest if you're managing to finish those quests into the limited time and those are weekly quests in general what you can do is pretty much do the um if you're alliance i don't know how it works in you know, as a horde but you, if you're alliance you get um the world pvp quest which is against overwhelming odds and that is slaying 25 horde players and you will get 350 conquests this is easy because you can just find on the map 
where the PvP is going. Normally, the, since the, 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 the weekly world PvP quest is in Azure Span, you want to want to do is actually go into Azure Span and go into this area, probably around the um, spell for creations or whatever, like the elites, and you're going to farm there your 25 kills. Or else you just find someone else where there is a, like a pvp quest like for example overcoming mountain you just do this and f normally you will find other players to actually kill and you kill those 25 players and you will get easily that 350 conquest which is quite nice as well what you can also do is do the quests that you get here every time every week you will get a pvp quest to do and you will gain a lot of conquest by doing pretty much pvp which is something that we all love because again why would you gear for pvp if you do not love pvp so you have like proving more so basically obtain honor in epic battlegrounds this is pretty much one win in epic battlegrounds but two like one loss and one win depending on how you win and you will get like 175 conquests which is quite nice and plus the win that will give you like 280 conquests in total which is quite nice as well proving teamwork again obtain honor in rated battlegrounds that is something that you want to do um, even though you can maybe tank a bit of MMR because of that, if you win a RBG plus you do this quest, you pretty much have a piece and that is something you want to go for. Do not forget every week you do get the Great Vault, but I don't want to count on this. I don't want to make you wait a week to get good gear. What you want to do is basically always do your world quest. Your world PvP quest is something that is easily grinded over the week. Of course, on one day it's going to be pretty much very hard to do because it depends on the quest you can do but you can pretty much do the world world pvp quests or world quests in the azure span like for example here you have one two three four uh, four quests and that is pretty much like 10 per quest so 10 sparks per quest to have 40 sparks and then you just need to put pvp all around or you wait for a pvp quest to pop up on the map and then you just go there and farm your 100 spark of life because people are just going to gather around that area that's actually very fun and what you can have is then some conquest again 250 which is not too shabby and then you have trophy of strife and those trophy of strife you can pretty much buy gear here um no excuse me there you cannot buy it here anymore what you can do is actually farm those bloody tokens which is uh, gain, like you gain that by doing the quest but also by doing pvp quests uh, world quests but also killing people uh, in the open world and you buy that quest that, that item here and what you want to do is actually go here item upgrades and you're gonna upgrade those items by i'm gonna see if i have a piece somewhere um, i might have a piece i don't have a piece but you, uh, i hear i have a piece but it's already it's already maxed out. Um, let me see. I don't have a piece. Excuse me. But pretty much you go with your blue piece here. And you put it in. You drag it here. And it will be able to upgrade with those uh, sparks of life. Like those um, those uh, special uh, tokens that you get. from The trophy of strife that you get from the world quest. Which is, again, you're doing PvP. You're trying to learn your class, your spec. I think it's the best way to actually learn your spec by actually playing it. Instead of like suiciding into soul shuffle. It's not fun for you, it's also not fun for the allies, especially if you're a healer or you're a DPS going 0-6, you're pretty much screw the healers or you're screwing their DPSs, so it's not a fun experience as well for you. Um, those are the main things you can do, like pretty much by playing PvP, by queuing, also battlegrounds are very very fast to, 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 to get pops in comparison with social form. You have also, again, the PvP activities here and there, which is again very very nice to do and there is now another way so if you have a main let's say you are like me you're a hunter you play a lot of solo shuffles a lot of pvp and you're fully geared and you don't really need to test anything you will have conquests to spend and those conquests can be bought for 375 a crimson equipment chest i'm going to show you guys directly the uh, screen in front of me if i can find it real quick bam 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 this is a tweet from uh lika tv so he's uh, living on the ptr which is quite nice for us on um, 10.7 which is tomorrow which probably uh, if you're seeing the, this video is already out um you can expand 
375 conquests to get a random piece of loot which is bound to blizzard account so you can basically just send those crimson equipment chests to your alt and basically fully gear them if you're quite lucky on the, those chests I remember in Shadowlands sometimes I had like 20 boxes, I opened them all and I was fully geared and ready to actually rock and roll. And remember in Shadowlands you had to upgrade those items, those pieces into uh, levels with honor, so you still had to grind. But right now if you have a conquest piece, that's it, you don't need to grind anymore, you have the best possible gear for your class, for your spec. Of course, Maybe not the best stats, but that's not a problem because you will be PvPing with the max possible eye level, which again is the most important thing. And then the stats are going to come into account, but you're going to PvP, you're going to get more conquest, and you're going to basically have better stats. And also, if you have like the main pieces, so pretty much the um, the uh, chest. Um, head, shoulders, legs, and gloves, you can pretty much turn them all into tier pieces right now. So you will have like a four piece or a two piece, depending on the class and respect you're playing. Sometimes you don't want a tier piece at all, like if it's really bad, maybe you don't want to convert it. Uh, but all classes have some spec that needs the tier pieces, so I would still convert it. Um, and you are pretty much good to go and what you need is actually now better stats but i think um when pvping and when you're going to pvp uh those are the things that you can mix min max and it's going to be more fun to do uh if you're fully 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 geared because you are you are very lucky with the amounts of stats you got from those pieces then that's it you can just grind solo shuffle and have a lot of fun basically i think those uh, conquest uh, boxes can be bought here uh once um uh, it's out so just be go going on the Conquest Quadrant Master and buy those pieces and uh, you're going to be golden. Uh, and that's actually very, very interesting. And I think it's going to be a lot better for a lot of people to actually have alts. I sure know where I'm going to spend those Conquest boxes. I will buy a lot of Conquest boxes for my new alts and new specs that I want to play in 10.0.7. Again, I hope this video actually helps you. I know I'm a bit wavy. Um, in general, I, I do try to recommend to not go into social flow if you're like not fully geared because first and foremost, you don't want to give yourself an excuse for being bad. <laughs> and I know that by saying that to, um, to myself as well, whenever I'm playing with my mage, now like for 11 eye level, I'm getting destroyed. Uh, I tend to say, look, that's a gear difference. Well, mostly it is a skill difference, but it's also easier to to survive with more hp that's 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 the problem like it's not like the main stats are going to change your damage drastically going from 70k to a 100k ms that's not going to happen but what is going to happen is you're literally going to gain a lot more hp and that is the main thing you need and also like pro like secondary stats are always nice of course for having a lot of haste for example but you do need to understand that um gear is important to a certain extent but you don't want to be conscious with that uh, gear disparity you want to f farm i think farming is still a fun thing and if you have a main or two or three or if you're like me you're an alcoholic and you already have like geared six or seven characters you pretty much have too much conquest anyways Spend that conquest on those boxes, send it to your alt, and you're good to go. If you're new, new, new to PvP, again, I think this is end of the season, so try to use it as a training ground for season 2, because season 2 will come out in 2 or 3 months. Use it, the time being, for training and honing your skills for your class, your spec, whatever you want to do, and then start the season two right away by doing pvp by being ahead of the meta and being ahead of the people that are actually playing and i think right now it's an ideal time to come back with the retribution paladin rework with a lot of class changes i think the meta is going to be very interesting and i'm going to for sure cover it once the meta has settled down so again thank you for watching have a great day and be sure to stay safe we will catch each other very soon in the next video have a great day bye